What's up, guys? Welcome to Season 2, Episode 12 of the Monday Night Wars. I'm Chad Talks, and joining me, as always, is J-Mac Gaming. Yeah, wow. We are well, we are moving along in Season 2, Chad, aren't we? Yeah. Season 2, Episode 12. We're in the middle of King of the Ring. We're in the middle of that knockoff Battle Bowl. We're here. The finals, uh, final four matches of the Raw side of the King of the Ring will happen tonight, and you will know the final eight on the Raw side. I won't show you the brackets, so you won't know who will be fighting who, but you'll know. You'll be able to pick which guy on Raw you would like to see in the finals. You're going to have to leave a comment down below and who that is. Chad, let's get into Raw. Let's do it. We start off in the opening match, Ace Steel taking on Tiger Ali Singh. Ace Steel, former WWF European champion, and continuing to get his, uh, get, he's getting his wins back. He's at a 65 in ring. He dropped from an 80 to a 65, though, so King IK may have fucked him over a little bit. But it doesn't matter. Other pre-show match of the night, Joey Matthews defeats Shane McMahon at 824 with a pinfall. How do you feel about that one, Chad? Chad For is... Joey Matthews. Joey. Getting the boss's son. Yeah. Who hasn't? <laughs> fair. The Rock makes his way down to the ring, Chad. And he wants to let you know that he is in the king of the ring. And he also wants to let, let you me know. He also wants to let you know personally, Chad, that he's going oh, wow. to he's going to win the king of the ring. Rock knows my name? Yeah. He says, hey, rat boy. Oh. <laughs> he says, um, 2000 is the year of the Rock. You know, he beat Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania, the biggest WrestleMania of, of them all, you know. He was the reason why that show did so well critically in the ratings and everything. He was the reason why Dave Meltzer gave that 100 out of 100. He was the reason why everything... You know, that is that event has gone down as a classic. And he says, this year, King of the Ring, he's just not going to stop there at WrestleMania. He's going to win the King of the Ring. And he says, he's going to walk in to SummerSlam with that King of the Ring title match, and he's going to win that belt. Well, here comes Stone Cold. <laughs> That's my version of his uh, entrance music. If you think it's spot on, um, I'm probably going to get copyrighted and DMCA'd for that because it was so perfect. Uh, Stone Cold hits the ring. He says, hey, what? You think you're going to win the... What? You're going to think we're the king of the ring. What? Hey, 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 Rocky. I understand. You're, going, you're on a little of a roll lately. But uh, look, look, you still got to win your match tonight. You still gotta beat whoever that is backstage. I mean, it could be, it could be, it could be Taka Michinoku. You barely beat Taka last month. It could be, oh, it could be Ken Shamrock. You don't like Ken Shamrock, do you? He's got Rock in his name as well. And and, and, and Stone's like, it could be, it could be, it could be Dennis. But it doesn't matter who it is. You see, The Rock is going to come into this ring tonight. And then he's going to come in next week and the week after that. And it's going to all come down to what? The pay-per-view. The Rock is going to go one-on-one -on -one with whoever it is on SmackDown. And he's going to whoop their candy ass all across the ring. And he's going to walk out of the pay-per-view king of the ring. So it goes like, hey, okay. Yeah, well... I'm the Shut it out, Rock. What? <laughs> what? He should have said what after every one of those statements. It's like, well, you have to understand to do that, you have to go through Stone Cold. Because I don't have, I don't plan on losing. I don't plan on not becoming King of the Ring. So, Rock, you know, we may have uh, been all buddy buddy lately. But I guess we have to reignite this rivalry if we meet again. And Rock's like, oh, I plan on kicking your ass again, is if, is a, if, if that's what you meant to say. And Stone Cold gets in his face, flips him off, and gives him a stunner. Boom. And, and drinks a Steve Weiser on his Rock's body. But Rock, 
saying he's going to win the, the King of the Ring. And Stone Cold telling him if he wants to do that, he's going to have to go through him because he thinks he is going to win King of the Ring. This Raw side of the King of the Ring is going to be electric. Sean Stasiak's in it. Who knows who's even going to win it? Chad's pick Jushin Liger's on the, on the side. It's going to be huge, Jen. Jushin's winning it all. Jushin is winning it all, says Chad. We'll have to find out. We start off this show, though, with Sultan taking on Steve Mongol McMichael, and Sultan gets a nice little win in 732. With a big splash, Sultan. You know, last week, so you know, at some point, he wants to win that world title. And, you know, him and Joey Matthews both have single matches tonight. Both get big wins. Uh, another match includes Future Shock. Look, they're dominating here, Chad. They're dominating here. Brock's getting to the 60s. He's getting to the 60s. He's almost there. He's almost there. They dominate the headbangers in 733 when Brock hits an overhead belly to belly on Mosh. Future Shock, another big win. Ken Shamrock says, Look, you know, maybe it's. I've done. I've, I fought with the best here on Raw. I fought with the worst here on Raw. I fought them all. But I'm still in the same position I am today than I was back in 1997. I just don't know what else there is for me to do. Well, how can I get to that next level? And then it hit me. I have to win that King of the Ring. King of the Ring not only propels people's careers to a new level, they propel the actual person themselves, their character, their mindset, everything about them, they change. We see Eddie Guerrero defend his belt for months and months and months. We saw Shawn Michaels the year before, or what was it, Triple H? I don't ever remember who won the King of the Ring 98. Was it Triple H? Do you remember? Uh, it was I, It was Hunter I, Shawn I in the main. I, I thought it was Shawn. I think it was Triple. We're going to have to find out. But Triple H, you know, he's world champion now. Maybe Ken Shamrock can be world champion. Maybe Ken Shamrock can be king of the ring. You know, that was a good ring to it. The most dangerous king on the planet. Ooh, that sounds good. He takes on uh, Ken Shamrock. He's in the king of the ring, and he's, he's in the opening match right here, Chad. Do you think he wins? I hope so. I hope so, too. Well, before that, King Ikea is laid out by A. Steel backstage. Uh, Ace Steel was told by a little birdie that Jushin Thunder Liger was not here today, and Ace Steel took advantage of it and crushes King Ikea. Gets him a little concerto. You know, you know, you know what that is, Chad? Of course I do. It's where you sit in a, a chair and you do a concert. The concerto. Yes, we move on. Course. Speaking of that Ken Shamrock match, he takes on Mark Henry in the first match of the night for the King of the Ring, and he just can't get it done. Mark Henry defeating Ken Shamrock once again. Unbelievable. Ken Shamrock cannot get it done. And Mark Henry moves forward in the King of the Ring. What does this mean for Ken Shamrock? I think it means he's going to come to WCW soon. Yeah, let's hope. Let's hope not, actually. Let's hope. I was, uh, you can make that happen, buddy. Christian makes his way down to the ring. He gets it 100 on his promo right here. He's in the mat. He's in the he's in the King of the Ring, Chad. He's taken on the guy who declared himself in the King of the Ring a couple of weeks ago, Ricky Banderas. Chad, make your prediction there. Who's going to win, Christian or Banderas? Uh, I'm going to go with Christian. Well, you are right. Christian Cage hits the inverted DDT on Banderas in 1230. And Christian moves on to the King of the Ring. You've got to give it to Ricky Banderas, though. Uh, a sick, well, uh, absolute... Freak of an athlete gets a 29 in ring performance, but he has enough goal, enough balls to, you know, tell everyone he's going to be in the King of the Ring. So good for Banderas. He's got a bright future ahead of him. Yeah, good for them. Move on. Our third King of the Ring match tonight it's Rock and Blackman, and Rock defeats Steve Blackman in 1144 with a Hurricane DDT. Steve Blackman just can't do it as well. Rock moves on. And make it's one step closer to, you know, 
realizing that uh, everything he said was true, that he will win King of the Ring. Does that change your pick there, Chad? No. That you're going to stick with Juice no matter what. Sticking with Juice no matter what. Riding and dying. Love it. Love it. Our main event of the night. It will be Kurt Angle and Taka Michinokabu. Chad, make your prediction. Who wins this one? Who moves on? Two solid in-ring guys. Who moves on? One of these guys um, has to lose. My heart says Taka. My brain says Kurt. I'm going to go with my heart here. And I'm going to say Taka beats Kurt Angle. Well, in an exceptional match. I don't even need to hit the next segment to know it's an exceptional match. I'm predicting 100, Chad. 94. About that at superb wrestling. Great heat. Unfortunately, Kurt Angle taps out Takamichi Nokun 1848 with the ankle lock. Absolute classic match right there. Taka again. And that's the story of Takamichi Noku and the save. Just cannot get it done when he needs to. Couldn't win the belt. Couldn't beat Rock. Can't beat Angle. Taka. And then all eight men are shown on these Titan Tron. These are your raw representatives in the Sweet 16 for the King of the Ring. One of these guys will main event King of the Ring 19 or 2000 and, and vow for the King of the Ring championship. Chad, your prediction is Jushin Liger, but you don't know who he takes Jushin on. Jushin Liger, baby! Chad, would you like me to go down the um, the actual bracket and announce who they, uh, who they match up with this next week? I would love that. All right. In the bottom half, we have Kurt Angle taking on Christian Cage, a rematch of WrestleMania. In the other bottom half match, it is... The Intercontinental Champion, Mark Henry, he will take on The Rock. The winner of those two matches will uh, fight against each other in the Elite Eight. On the top half, we have Stone Cold Steve Austin taking on the Big Red Monster Kane. And that leaves Sean Stasiak and Jushin Liger in the other <laughs> match. Chad, do you, wow. do you still like your prediction? Oh, <laughs> uh, well, uh, uh, I like him a little less, uh, but I didn't come this far to be a coward, so go Liger, baby. All right, everyone, make your predictions down low of your Raw. If you want to wait until the end of this video to hear the SmackDown side of the bracket, go ahead. We will, uh, you know, we'll announce the bracket on that side after this week's SmackDown, Chad. Let's just get into Nitro. And we are here at Nitro. Man, what felt like a second to you all was minutes for us. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? All right, let's get into this, Chad. We've got our first pre-show match. This was Justin, so I'll let Justin explain. Okay. It was Lance Storm taking on Paul Diamond. And a decent wrestling. Little Heat, Lance Dorham defeats Paul Diamond by sub with submission with a Canadian maple leaf. Justin, are you there? Did I lose Justin? Oh, no. Oh, no. You muted Justin. I'm so sick of DoorDash, bro. Fuck these guys, man. I can't... Oh, ordered, so you weren't muted. I ordered DoorDash, and they give me a fucking third of my order, and I have to go get a refund. Ah. Unfucking believable Why would I want chicken tenders? And I order chicken tenders, and they just give me the fucking fries. Why? That's ridiculous. A bit um, uh, fucking, never mind. Just keep going. I'm pissed off what? now. I don't blame you. In another pre-show match, Abyss defeats Shane Douglas with a shock treatment. And our pre-show main event, DNA, with Alex Wright's girlfriend, Tori Wilson, taking on the Hardy Boys and Matt Hardy's girlfriend, Lita. In a decent pre-show bout, Tori Wilson and DNA defeat Lita and the Hardy Boys when Alex Wright sub submitted Lita with the STF. Oh, no. <laughs> They still didn't even give me my fucking dipping sauce. Eat my fucking ass. 
Oh my it's God. having a, uh, Justin's about to look. I don't know. I'm so up. hungry, and I don't want to go get up food. Dean Malenko got a 90, by the way. Oh, yeah, look at Dean. We are here. It's our first segment of the day. Bret Hart has his U.S. championship, and, you know, he talks about, he's like, you know, great American bass coming up. I know a lot of people have been talking about the Battle Bowl. That's, you know, that's exciting. You know, uh, great American bash is here. That's important because the great American bash is customary. It is tradition that the United States champion main events. That's me now. But I need to figure out who my opponent's going to be. I've beaten Chris Canyon now twice. Now, however, I will say I beat Chris Canyon twice. One of those times there was interference from Raven. I would like to invite Raven out here. Raven comes out. He says, Raven, I don't need you to interfere in my match. I don't need any help to win. I can do it all on my own. Raven says, Brett, I don't really care what you want. A lot of balls coming out here and, 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 and confronting me. Listen, Brett, I heard you were talking about looking for a United States championship opponent. I got to tell you, if you're looking for someone to main event Great American Bash with, Look no further than me. How about this, all right? I'm not Chris Canyon. You're not going to tap me out. Oh, you and I, one-on-one for the U.S. Championship at the main event at Great American Bash. And Brett says, you know what, Raven? We're on. And then Sylvester Stallone comes out. And he says, hey, hey, listen, I love that idea. We're going to go ahead and we're going to book it. It's going to be Raven versus Brett. That's not why I'm out here. See, I'm out here. Promote contract signing that's going to take place tonight against Hulk Hogan and Brett, someone you know really, really well, Owen Hart. What's going to happen tonight? Coming up next is a tag team match to determine one of the two people in the Battle Bowl. The, 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 the. Ah, uh, you've been chosen. Ready? Because your tag team partner is Diamond Alice Page. You'll be teaming up against Finley and Chavo Guerrero. And that match is next. Uh, it should be a good one. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Or maybe not. That was 79. It is a match. DDP and Bret Hart defeated Fit Finley and Chavo Guerrero and Bret Hart pinned Chavo with a victory roll. Oh, fucking roll up pin to get the win here too? Bret Hart's a scumbag. Bret Hart is a scumbag. Nonetheless, Bret and DDP advance. Another syndicate member is in this uh, Royal Justin. Edible. Yeah, I moved say, on. Say, say Savage. Oh, you're... Shane, he has Shane's Helms. He says, Oh, Shane Helms, you want to join the dojo? You got to show you can, can... You got to show that you are you got potential. And all I've seen you do lately is lose. So tonight, you're going to team against my two pupils, Shannon Moore and Jamie Noble. And if you beat these three guys, I'll let you go into the sensei... Savage Dojo. It's going to be great. The Oh, every bring them out. Uh, and here are the three opponents. At the Faces of Fear and Warlord. Or, sorry, the Lord of War. Sorry. Uh, but the Lord of War stinks. And so in a decent match, Shane Helms and the Savage Dojo defeat the Lord of War and the Faces of Fear when Shane Helms pins the Lord of War with a vertebraker. What do you mean the Lord of War stinks? No. Tell me about it. He's great. Got 49. Yeah, he was the, did the worst out of everyone. That's true. All right, we move on. And Sensei Savage and Shane Helms, they celebrate. Shane, Sensei Savage has another student in the Madness Dojo. Savage Dojo, sorry. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Foley 
the camera's on him and he says, Stop. Six. Artist. Three. And annoying me the last few weeks. And six. I trusted you. <clears throat> I proved, but, but you've showed me that this business, you can count on one hand the amount of guys you can trust. So I've decided that Great American Bash, I want to take on all three of you. I don't care about the TV championship anymore. It's beyond that. I just want to fight you. I want to get payback, and I want to fight all three of you. But to do that, I'm going to need two guys that I trust. That's why. I've got some backup. Not just any backup. Some extreme backup. Pans and Dreamer and Sabu are behind him, and he says... Great American Bash, it's going to be Scott Hall 6, Stardust, taking on Foley, Tommy Dreamer, and Sabu. Then Sabu stays put because he's got a tag team match. And, uh, yeah, for and, and, and it's against Sabu and Mulaney, taking on Mike Awesome and Brian Nobbs. This is to advance in the Battle Bowl. And uh, a decent match. Mike Gossam and Brian Nobbs, I let the game decide, defeat Sabu and, and Mahoney. And Bri- uh, when Brian Nobbs pinned Mahoney. What a weird Battle Royal this is. Yeah, what a weird tournament this is. I mean, not even a tournament. Just weird. Just, But it's a little, it spiced it up, Chad. I think you really enjoyed this. Oh, it's been fun. It's different. It's interesting. All right, move on. I have two more of these left. And we go to the Battle Royal. Uh, Raven cuts a promo. And he says, Like, awesome, I'm happy you were able to win because I swear if you were going to lose, I was not going to be happy. But you did win. My knobs, you're a, you're, you're a piece of shit. But, like, awesome. Flock brother will win this match. Battle, the the brawl the battle brawler the battle ball or the battle bowl or whatever it's called you're gonna win you're gonna put and you're gonna help the flock back on the map and then I'm gonna beat Brett and I'll have the U S championship and we'll do what Chris Canyon couldn't do we got a tag team match you got a sixty nine. Damn, and about 69. that decent wrestling. Yeah. Jesus. And about that. Listen. Winner over. Jim Malenko got a 73. And about that decent wrestling and didn't have much heat. Q Suzuki and Debbie Malenko defeated Charmel and Jazz when Q Suzuki pinned Jazz with a cable special. Q special. Cable special? Hard to read from far away, man. Q How far are you away? Uh, I'm on the opposite side of my house. <laughs> yeah, hey, banger of a match, Chad. Speaking of bangers. Uh, Sylvester Stallone comes up before we can say anything. He's attacked by a fan. Oh. I was like, oh my God, the GM, he's attacked by a fan. Someone bought a ticket and they jumped the guardrail and they're fighting off security. And then they're wearing a hooded sweatshirt to take the hood off. It's China! China! China starts fighting uh, uh, security, trying to, trying to, to uh, rip her, uh, uh, to, to tackle her, but she's she's fighting them all off, and she's continuing to pummel Sylvester Stallone. Got the contract signing between Hulk Hogan and Owen Hart. Both these guys, I talk about their big match. Owen Hart, you know, he talks about how you know, Hulk Hogan, he's a legend in the industry. One of the best. Owen Hart, he is the best. And he's sorry that his homecoming, his 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 return match is going to be a loss, but there's just no way Owen Hart can afford to lose. Because you see, both of these men, they need this win. Owen knows that. But that's what's gonna make Owen that much more deadly because Hogan is a legend. And a win over Hogan is exactly what he needs. To put himself back in the win column. And Hogan, he just he he doesn't want his first one back to his first match back to be a loss. You know, he was in the he was in the running to be universal champion before he went down. And he wants to get back to that opportunity to win the universal championship again. Especially the Universal Champions against Scott Steiner, you know, a guy who Hogan doesn't really like either. So 
just there's reason for both of these men to win. And uh, it, it starts to go really polite. Um, then, you know, Owen Hart, you know, he's, he starts calling Hogan old, hushed up, and overrated. And Hogan, you know, he, he, he snaps. He, like, pushes the table over to, to fight. Then he hulks up. And Owen just kicks Hogan in the balls. That's and, fucked and just up. Stand, and just stands over him. I don't give a damn about Hulk Hogan. I don't either. Me and all, me and Owen, kind of the same person. Got a promo, Scott Steiner and Kevin Nash. You know, Steiner's like, we're about to go into the battle bowl, and we're gonna win. And the two of us, we're gonna make some money. But of course, it's jump change when you're the champions. We're gonna take that money, and we're gonna wipe our asses with it because we're the champs. We make more of that per hour. We want to win the battle bowl so that way no one else can. Because listen, besides besides Six, who is a stand-up guy, there really isn't any cruiserweights in this in this battle bowl. It's awesome. Now we gotta take it back to the syndicate because it's a big, pretty trophy. And we want it. And that says, and we're the champions. So if you think for one second that the two world champions are gonna lose another thing coming to show how on the same page scott and i are challenging two people to to a tag team match right now and these two people enter the and answer the call it's aj styles and he wants to you know he's he's trying his best to to get a, a feel for his uh his, uh his limitless teammates and so yeah, he he was he started to have suspicions about Taz. So he says Taz, we're gonna team tonight. Taz and AJ team up against Scott and Kevin Nash. Here we go. Eighty-seven banger. Nice. Oh my. <laughs> uh oh. AJ got a ninety-one. Mm -hmm. Oh hell yeah! Uh, AJ was about to hit a Styles clash. On Scott Steiner, the crowd was popping huge, and then the lights went off. The lights and, and and the lights went off, and when the lights went off, um, they came back on, and Goldberg, uh, is in the corner. AJ, he's, he's confused about what ha what happened, and then Goldberg hears AJ, and and then Taz he runs in and he starts brawling with Goldberg. He's like, "I'm gonna kick your ass, Goldberg!" And then as that's happening. The lights go off again, but this time when the, the lights go off and a, a vignette, she's on the Titan Tron. It is a person, there's a silhouette, like they can't see them because it's dark. And voice is modified. You don't know, like, so you, so you can't you can't tell who it is based on the sound, but it says, uh, go through his knees. He's got bad knees. Hey. And Nash and Steiner, they, they listen to that and they, and they, Listen, and and they do it, and they take out Taz's knees, and, and they're able to get a win. The fuck? Following it. Who the hell is this it's, rat? It's the spy. Who is it? We don't know. I hope it's Lanny Poffo. I, it might be. It, it can't might be. Lanny be. Poffo. He's in WWF. You're right. 90. Right, well, it's not Lanny Poffo, but we got a 90. Nitro sure got a 90. Banger. Banger alert, Chad. We have two tag team matches to go. And then we've got all the participants in the Battle Bowl. True. Who is your prediction to win? Mine is Madman Pondo. Who is yours? Let us know in the comments. We'll see you for SmackDown. <laughs> oh, hey, we're on. Oh, hey, welcome back, everyone. What the everyone. fuck does that mean? What do you mean? We're on. Chad, of course uh, uh, we're on. I counted it down. Uh, I went five, four, three, two. And you said, uh. <laughs> Do I have to Me ring the bell? Are you like Jesse and Festus? Do I got to ring the bell before you snap into it? I'm eating chicken. Jenny's and chicken. <laughs> man, man, man. All right. Let's get in the smack down. Ooh, chicken and gravy. Oh, man, I'm right there. PJ Black. Is opening SmackDown, Chad. You know this is a new era, but PJ Black's here to open SmackDown, and he calls out Test and Kid Cash. And only Kid Cash comes up because Test is warming up for his 
big King of the Ring qualifying match. He takes on Bam Bam Bigelow later on tonight. But Kid Cash comes on. He answers the bell. And PJ's like, hey, I'm, you know what? I was expecting both of you guys to come out here. But I'm happy with you, Kid Cash. You know, over the last couple of weeks, you guys have been beating me up. You know, and just blindsiding me and attacking me from behind. And I'm just, I'm sick of it. All right? I'm the damn United States champion. I need, I need respect, Kid Cash. All right? Just because you're mad that you've been on the main roster since 1997 and I came up late last year and I'm farther ahead of you than you are. You don't have to come at me, okay? If you want, if you want a match with me for my United States Championship, just say it. Just ask me, Mister Cash. I understand why they call you Kid, because you a bitch. Ooh, ooh, and Kid Cash, he's like, ah. You know what? I guess I'm gonna have to have two matches at King of the Ring, because not only am I gonna win King of the Ring that night, I'm also gonna beat your ass. For your championship. Stephanie. Tell your dad to book it. Ooh, we move on. The Big Rig Fig. Takes on Terry Funk. Chad. And a bout that had. Lots of heat. And five star Dave Meltzer wrestling. The Big Rig Fig. Defeats Terry Funk with a German suplex. In 734. Big match for Big Fig. Rig Fig beating a legend. Speaking of legends, Chad, El Dio Del Santo is here. He's in the King of the Ring tonight. He's in the main event match for the King of the Ring, Chad. He's everyone's new favorite pick. Speaking of everyone's new favorite pick, TNT comes out and they 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 have to wrestle D Generation X or the last couple remaining members of DX. It's Road Dog and Triple H. Road Dog and D. It's just them left. Yeah, they're not even DX really anymore. They're just D. Uh, Road Dog and Triple H defeat TNT in 1254 when Triple H pins Tony Mamaluke with the pedigree. So our WW, our, our SmackDown World Champion in a you know mid card match against Tony Mamaluke. Good for him. Paul White steps. Into Eric or out of Eric Bischoff's office, and he closes the door, and that's all this angle is. Oh, thank God we had that happen. <laughs> it's for alluding something that happened, to Eric Bischoff, because Eric, uh, Shut. Paul White comes out of it sweaty. He's out. He comes out of the office sweaty. Ooh. The Undertaker has arrived to the arena in his sick motorcycle. Chad, he's here for King of the Ring. Chad. You know, he's been riding around the country in his big old motorcycle. I finally got here. Well, he came, he got to the arena at last pay-per-view and then left again, and now he's here. And he takes on the Godfather and the Undertaker. You know, Taker wasn't going to lose to the Godfather. Taker wins in 1435 with the Tombstone. Taker moves on to the Sweet 16, Chad. After the match, Eddie Guerrero is watching... He's backstage in his suite of a locker room. He's getting ready to watch the rest of the card because he wants to win this King of the Ring, and he's got to do some scouting. He's got his notes. He's got a notepad. He's got a pencil. He's got erasers. He's got drinks. He's got stacks. He's got a fan. He's got a pillow, and he's got a blanket, and he's ready for the remaining matches of the night. Speaking of which, King of the Ring 2000 right here. Bam Bam and Test. Chad, Bam Bam wins. Oh, Where's, yeah. Because there was a distraction that I forgot the book in this. PJ Black distracts Test and helps Bam Bam move on in the King of the Ring. So Bam Bam, moving on, Chad. Yeah. Big match right there. We move on. The other... The, the co-man event, King of the Ring, Mystico, Road Dog, our light heavyweight champion taking on Road Dog, who was already in a match that I just remembered. Uh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Shit. Mystico wins in 1230, though. He, uh, he uses that as advantage. Road Dog is kind of exhausted. He's fatigued. He's fatigued. Eric Bischoff, not knowing what he's doing to book in this show, Mystico moving on in 1230 with a La Mystica. And he moves on to the Sweet 16, the final eight of SmackDown. But then after the match, Tyson, the 
picks him up. He blindsides him, picks him up, puts his title down, and uh, gives him a brain buster on the light heavyweight championship. Wow. Tyson, duh. Maybe he takes over Mystico's spot in the King of the Ring. And our main event of the night. Oh, God. Not good. They have no chemistry. Off to a bad start, Del Santo. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> de la de la cabala. Uh, yeah, Del Santo beats Brian Danielson, tag team champion. And uh, yeah, this, this SmackDown's going to stink. <laughs> Not good. Not off to a great start. Um, but yeah, these are your SmackDown Final Eight. Let's go over the bracket a little bit, Chad. I know this has been a fast SmackDown, um, but get over it. Your, okay. <laughs> your bracket here. Mario over it. All right. On the bottom half for SmackDown, we have Bam Bam Bigelow taking on The Undertaker. And we have possibly Mystico taking on Eddie Guerrero, which that will lead to Eddie or Mystico taking on Test, or not Test, Bam Bam or Taker. I can't wait for Mystico Bam Bam. In our top half, we have Ric Flair taking on Booker T. Which now leaves Kid Cash and El Hio Del Santo. SmackDown side kind of lighter compared to Raw, but just as Literally dominant. Cruiserweights. They're not cruiserweights here. They're, they're everyone's the same division, Chad. We're all oh, yeah, equal yeah. here. We're all equal here on SmackDown. This is a right. probably the worst show I've ever ran here in WWF. But don't look at the ratings. Look at the... Oh, 76. Look at how far we've come together. <laughs> the real... The, the, this show stinks. Shut up, Chad. We'll go to Thunder. We are here with Thunder, baby. Not yet, Chad. Not yet. Yeah, not yet. All right, yeah, we're here for Thunder. We're here with Thunder, baby. I'm leaving that in there. Let's get into it. 82. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, Canyon. Okay. I thought I thought Chris Canyon was Scotty Too Hotty. I'm like, oh, Jesus. 82. Uh, Canyon carried this match. All right. Yes, we have. We started off with a match, and it is one of our final two Battle Bowl qualifying tag team matches. Homicide and Grandmaster Sexay taking on Low D and Chris Canyon. Oh, yeah. Low D and Canyon. They qualify. They're going to the Battle Bowl. They are going to the Battle Bowl, Chad. Unfortunately, Lodi cost four men um, a chance at the Battle Bowl, and not one of them come out here and cause him to lose. So we got Pansies back in the locker room. Uh, All fair in love and war, apparently not here in WCW. After oh, here the they are. Here they are. Rick Rude and Sick Boy. A little too late, see. idiots. Low D is celebrating. And Rick Rude takes Low D and he drives his head through the uh through the uh the uh the monitors. He has to, and he has to be helped out. Low D, what what shape will he be in for Battle Bowl? Oh, he's got two weeks to b- 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 repair for it. Relax, you know, heal up. We move on. And we've got Limitless. They are all here. AJ says, No, I've decided that I think... I think you're just playing mind games with us. Oh, well, I'm, I'm beginning to think, Spy isn't with us. The guy on, this, on the screen, it was just, it was just one of the kid's tricks. Because all of us are here, Limitless. We are here for the cause and that's why i think great american bash i'm sure steiner and i'm sure nash they're gonna be doing something with their titles that frees up that but that frees up three other members of the syndicate so i want to have a six-man tag sting dp The other guy whose name I go, Goldberg, and Goldberg. Sorry, Chad <laughs> forgot. DDP and Goldberg. Gonna take on one of us three. 
hacked ones, we're not going to tell you because we can play mind games too. Good luck preparing. We'll see you at Great American Bash. Ooh, banger. Banger. Yeah. Dreamer versus Scott Hall. And a good match. Dreamer rolls up Scott Hall. Rolls him up. Dreamer rolls him up. coming back. Get, get him back into the action. Get back in the fray here. You know, he really hasn't done much lately. And, uh, you know, what, what better way to get him back in the win column than beating the other loser, Scott Hall? After the match, Mick Foley and Stardust, they're cutting a promo back and forth. Open up their big match. And Mick Foley, he says, you know what? How about for our tag team match? Make it tornado rules. Tornado tag, you say? Or are they going to do it in or tornado? Uh, if there's a tornado around, maybe they'll fight in a tornado. Mm, sounds like they will be fighting in a tornado, guys. First ever tornado tag match. And we've got a women's match and a bout that had terrible wrestling and not as in crowd heat. Lita defeats Jazz with a submission. Hmm, not as good as you thought it would be, did you think, Chad? I thought it was good as I thought. Yeah, pretty good match, though. 54. Oh, boy. Limitless. They're here. This is Syndicate. Doesn't matter. Syndicate. They're here. Four of them got sunglasses. One of them doesn't. He's the rat. <laughs> Scott Hall accepts on behalf of the syndicate. Scott Hall? Or Scott Steiner, sorry. Scott Hall! Of course he's going to accept the syndicate. Did Scott Hall accept? He's not a part of syndicate. No, Scott Steiner, you know, he says, you know, you bring out any three you want. Because Sting, Goldberg, and DDP are going to win. There you go. Sting, Goldberg, and DDP at Great American Bash, he said. Oh, wait, never mind. Okay, it's fine. Ooh, Alex Wright and Conan. Alex Wright taking on Conan in a decent match. Alex Wright defeats Conan with an STF. Decent little match right there. Alex Wright pulling out 80s. Speaking of 80s, Tori Wilson. In a match, Alex Wright and his girlfriend, Tori Wilson, they celebrate Alex Wright's win. Dean Malenko is not there, though, weirdly. Mm, I wonder why, Chad. Hmm. I wonder why. Oh, there he is. The rat. Mysterio and Sylvester Stallone, they are cutting a promo. Ray says, Sylvester Stallone, did you just, did you, did you, uh, decide my opponent? Great American Bash. Stallone says, I did. I'll tell you what, Ray. I'm not going to tell you who it is. It'll be a surprise. We're going to find out at Great American Bash. You better oh. bring your A game. As the winner of that match will become number one contender for the world title and will fight for the belt. Bash at the beach. Who could it be? I have no idea who this could be. Like, low-key, off, off the script, off the record. I have no idea who this could be. And as someone that knows your roster inside and out, and I, I don't know who it is, the fans watching at home don't know who it is. And that's a sign of a good storyline. A good surprise. Jesus Christ. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> we we got booked this tag. match, and I said, if this random match gets 100, I'm punching a hole in the monitor. Why is it Mike Awesome is getting 90s? In what fucking world? Uh, the Flock versus the Foundation. Raven facing Brett at Great American Bash for the U.S. title. Going to main event. And then about that, superb wrestling in great heat. Mike Awesome and Raven defeat Nightheart and Brett when Raven... Pinned, ooh, pinned Bret Hart with a pilot driver. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Raven's got to change his gimmick. Remind me to do that. He's just, just gloating because he just pinned Bret Hart. Okay, Raven. I'm going to write that down for you. Okay. My main event of the night. Ooh. Ooh. Our main event, the final Battle Bowl, uh, uh, Battle Bowl, ta- I always, for some reason I always want to say a Battle Bowl. Battle, battle Bowl titles. Battle Bowl. The Battle Bowl, uh, Battle Bowl ta- tag team <laughs> qualifiers. We got Dean Malenko 
and Minoru Suzuki taking on AJ and Abyss, and about that had good wrestling and a decent reaction from the crowd. AJ Styles and Abyss defeated Dean Malenko and Suzuki when AJ pinned Dean Malenko with a Styles clash. Damn, Dean Malenko getting fucking chopped out here on Thunder 87. Banger. Would you like me, Justin, would you like me to run down the 16 participants of the 2000 Battle uh, Bowl? Yes, go ahead, Chad. In no particular order. We have Brett, EDP, Lodi, Canyon, AJ, Abyss, Bubba, Hennig, Ryan Nobbs, Nick <laughs> Awesome. Six, Steiner, Evan Nash, Matt Man Pondo, <laughs> oh Jacqueline and Luna Vachon. Uh, that's gonna be a match right there. I remind everyone, yeah. ev- everyone yeah, watching, a prediction on who you think's gonna win. Well, remind everyone at home watching what they get when they win. Yes, they get a love a lovely trophy. Mm. They each get 50K. Wow. Is that all? Yeah. Okay, then my guess is going to be Madman Pondo eliminating Kevin Nash. Madman Pondo could use the 50K. (laughs) You'd probably pay him 12 bucks a show. He probably could. (laughs) Yeah, but, uh, you know, realistically, probably fucking probably Steiner and Nash, one of them. You can't have your world champion lose. But if he's going to lose, it's, it's maybe AJ Styles. I don't know. I don't know, Chad. When is this match going to be held at? The pay-per-view? Uh, oh, it's not going to be held at the pay-per-view. No, not even at the pay-per-view. No, then, uh... in, fact, I've, in fact, I've decided it's going to main event Monday. It's going to main event Monday? What, Night Raw? It's going to be the main event, Monday Nitro. Oh, Nitro. That's going to be huge. We'll see you guys there. Episode 13, up next.